Eventually, the bullying stopped, and Aid and I became more competitive, more rivals than enemies, as oftentimes happens with young boys. We didn't fight so much with our fists in the gardens as we did spar with our practice swords in the training field. Eventually, when we were both men, our relationship stopped being as hostile and turned into something of a very light rivalry. Although we would never be friends, it is also true to say that the bullying never developed into a deep animosity either. When I turned 21, after years of living in Gowrie with King Constantine, the Count of Strathern and Lolithglau was sadly slain in a Norse raid with all of his sons. As he had no known relatives, it was up to the king to place someone in charge of the region. Aid wished Strathern for himself, a county that he had long since had his eye on. But Constantine, in his wisdom, gave both counties to me, as he felt it would be easier to administrate the two bordering counties as a single domain. Hello and welcome connoisseurs of Crusader Kings 3, friends of the channel, and of course, all newcomers. My name is Huntiner, and we are continuing today with Mormer Finbar of Strathern. We are trying to get our duchy title. We don't need that much more gold, a lot less than I thought, which means we don't have to wait for our next raids. We should be able to just do it almost immediately. Now we could consider Iceland, but I don't think we're gonna. That seems way out of our reach right now. So we'll just put this here. Maybe once we uh, once we control the Isles fully, we'll consider something like that. But that that seems that seems big for us at this time. We have a second daughter. Okay. Don't have a lot of. Uh, let's see if we can get her a cultural name. Emmer, Emer, Emir, Kethane, Kethane. Okay. Let's see. So we have a, a Caitlin and a Cathane and a Fergus. Okay, those are good names for our first children. Oh no. Okay, so what is he trying to take? What is he trying to take? And who does he have in this war to help him? I'm trying to take Inverness. Can I join my liege's war? Offer to join war? Yes, I can. So I will do that for sure. I will join the war. I will move my troops down to the south. I want to re regress them from the border a little bit because I don't want them to... Like, we're going we're gonna to raise them in the capital because that makes sense anyway. Our new bowmen are not yet in place, which is a little bit no good. We could just go for hostile guards. We don't have the knights to fill these positions, so we're just going to go back to promising prospects for now. I'm going to raise all here, and then we're going to join up with our king... Yarl Halfdan has given him 5,000 troops. This is very close war. Hopefully, some of the other vassals join. Can I not, like, join his army? Can we not? Yeah, I can. We can lock together. So we'll, we'll let him make the decision for now. Brewing Troublemaker. So our son is Rowdy. That's pretty good. That validates me doing this ourselves. Possibly. It also would make sense for us to get... Uh, doesn't have the right education. Okay, so I mean, if our if our inevitable intent is to land Osric, getting him to do... to educate our child might make sense. Doesn't make that much sense for us to do it ourselves. So where is Osric in this list? There he is. I uh, can't do it till after the war. That's fine. Maybe we should just do it ourselves anyway. Maybe, yeah, I think we just do it ourselves. Let's, uh, let's do it ourselves. Well, we should check to see how that boy is doing. You know, the one we gave good Christian charity to. Oh, these two have had a child. I don't know why he's Norse. Oh, that's the Norse kid. That's, this is the kid we brought in, right? Okay. Well, we can have you educated. We might as well have you educated by the court tutor as well. Well, either the court tutor or the, um... I mean, if we tell, if we make you a warrior, we could have you educated by Osric. Our commander Kane could do it too. He's pretty good. I think we would do Osric though. Yeah, that's good. And once we figure out what the other two want, we can find somebody for them. He's picked a learning lifestyle, doing okay. Hopefully he, uh, hopefully he ends up Gaelic. That's, that's our desire. Oh, I did not try to culture change that kid. 
That's fine. There's nothing wrong with him staying what he is. I mean, if we separate them and attack them before they can get together... Oh, you're not gonna do it. You're gonna let them get together, and now you're not gonna be able to stop them. I really feel like our king has made a mistake here. Like a big mistake here. Like this is no good. Why did you do this, my king? Did we... Is the reason that you made this horrible mistake because you're not a good commander? Because this is awful. You're... You're just doing awful. Okay. Fergus first in robing. All right. As I patiently await the fetching of my clothes, a servant stutters, My lord, uh, no one can find your garments. I'm surrounded by incompetence, I mutter, storming from the bed trember. It's in the nursery that my son Fergus... Of my son Fergus that I discover not only my raiment, but also the boy's wet nurse. I had no part in it, my liege. He dressed himself. Finwala responds with a giggle. I don't have time for this. <laughs> yeah. So he's the prince of fashion. The little scoundrel. Indeed, the little scoundrel. Take my clothes. This is super annoying. I really think we should be fighting them. So you're you're gonna you're gonna go now. After you basically won the siege, you're gonna go now. Nope, you're just getting off it so that he can finish the siege. Okay. I see what you did there. You gotta attack, my man. You can't just let them gather troops like that. You're gonna kill it. You're gonna lose the war that way. Ah, this war is gonna take forever because they're never gonna escape. I suppose we should gain control there. We're still working on our actions. This is, I don't know, awful? Is awful the right word? You're going to lose Inverness. Like, you're going to lose Inverness. You can't... Can't be doing this. <laughs> My man. Oh. What a tense war. I wonder if he'll... Follow my lead if I, um... Separate myself out and try to go. Uh, nope. He's just going to cross the border. We don't need to do this anymore. Who else would be good to raise up there? The Spy Master. The more the Spy Master elects us, the better off we are. So we could just work on her. I mean, we have we have put an effort into educating her son, so that should help. You know, she should like us for that. Okay. So Courtney, it Orkney is finished. It's now Catholic. Nice. So we will shift ourselves up here. Ah. Heresy. Iconoclasts in the Herberth. Uh. Yeah, we're not. We're not involved in your strange movement. Prince Rodri. This Earl. I guess I should move my guys separately because he's not, uh. Command this myself. Spouse, further education. It would not hurt to read a book once in a while. My soulmate, the studious Ben Miller Gormleth, Gormla, often tells me. She has offered to be my tutor if I need to get some help getting started. Yes, I would appreciate that. I think let's do it. Uh, we got studying Marshall for 10 years. Very nice. Yeah, you're, uh, you're not going to win this war, my friend. You're... You're doing pointless stuff down here that doesn't really matter. But I suppose if you're going to do pointless stuff that doesn't matter, I should support you in it because you're my liege. Or whatever. We've finished our longhouses. Okay. First of all, we always try and arrange marriage first. Doesn't look like there's any women in our court. That's fine. How much would he want? 13 gold. He'll do it. Could definitely use the knight. I, I could definitely use the champion. 
And he is welcome here for sure. Ah, my wife is pregnant again. Well, at least that's good news. Yeah, this is a... This is not a great war. It's not a great war at all. I'm not feeling good about it. He's gonna, like, siege the whole north, and then we're gonna lose this thing. And then Inverness is gonna go to, uh... The dang Norse. This is why I should be his marshal, because I am much better than his marshal. But, he wants me as chancellor. So I guess I'm chancellor. He is the king after all. Has he- has- has his brother even raised his troops? Oh. Did his brother die? No. That's him. Aid is out here, he just... Doesn't have enough to really matter. <laughs> This war loss could be a huge setback for Aid and for the king. Ah. Uh, I wish there was more I could do, but... It's not really up to me to decide. Okay. From a purely pragmatic point of view, at least it's not my territory and we'll have a truce for a while. The kingdom won't be attacked by them right away. I mean, it gives the kingdom a truce, not me, but that's fine. Gotta attack the king to attack me, right? It's just gonna lose this war. Well, I did my duty. But nobody can say I didn't do my duty. And don't get me wrong, he's more disappointed than he is mad. He believes in his king, so he follows where he says. Hmm. Maybe... Uh, how long... For, uh, that's not great. But I think we let it go for a while. We finish Orkney first, so he's about to take this. It's not really, um... ...succeeding, though. If we had attacked at the beginning before they gathered together, we could have won this. It's a tragedy, really. And we are gonna get attacked for sure if we don't move. This way, compliments. Youthful vigor, yes. yes please. We are getting attacked for sure. He's not going to help us. I guess our best chance is for me to just force us to stack up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be... a hard-fought loss. Another daughter. Judith. I think we're going to call her Judith. Oh, this is going to be a very hard-fought loss. Hmm. Well, at least it's a- at least it's a battle that will be remembered. We fought extraordinarily well. But that's like the end of the war. There's- there's no more war here. This is the end. They- I think they're getting... War score? Yeah. He just re-hunted him down. That'll be the last percent then, right there. No. It wasn't. I'm gonna withdraw and try to save my army. I don't- I don't want to get attacked again by troops that we can't possibly defeat. They're gonna win before they finish a siege anyway, so... There is... a flu here? There? Oh, it is spreading. It is spreading. Well, we're gonna have to depend on our wife to do with to deal with that, won't we? It's a hundred percent. War is lost. We did what we could. We supported our king up until the point where supporting him was no longer possible. Although he is my friend and I respect him and he is my king, I have to admit I am a little bit disappointed because I'm sure we could have won if he had been more aggressive at the beginning. Let's take loyalty and respect. Because we are definitely loyal, and we definitely respect our king, even when we disagree with the, his decisions. We can now create the Duchy of the Northern Isles, which we want to. We are now Mighty Duke, and the only other Duke in Alba other than Aid. What was he doing? Just an old man by himself out here in the sea. I think we can probably just take that from him right away. The land we promised to Osric. Just, just do this. Don't wait for the siege, man. Why would you do that? Why would you wait for the siege when you- yeah, I'm gonna say- Why would you wait for the siege when you're winning right now? 
All right, let's disband all. That's disappointing. Like, super disappointing. Our arch enemy, Ivar the Boneless, continues to grow his territory inside of Alba, and there's little we can do to resist him personally. It just means we need a stronger warband so that uh, we can have an effect on these battles, even if our king doesn't agree with our ideas. We have definitely reached a point where um, things are going good. Apparently, we're the one being voted for, probably because we're an adult, most likely. But we're not changing our vote. Well, has he changed his vote? He has changed his vote. Okay, so he, we, he has changed his vote. Who is he voting for right now? His son still. That's fine. Then we're going to keep our vote where it is with his son. Okay, so we need to get stronger. But that's almost always the case, right? You almost always need to get stronger. We've got these bowmen. Uh, they'll fill out, which is good. It's a good thing to be spending our prestige on. We're out of money because we just took our, uh, our duchy title. We are now High Chieftain Finbar of the Northern Isles. Looking rather handsome. Looking rather handsome. I do not like the fact that, uh, that they've gained another port. I don't like that at all. Ah, uh, his first teething. Yeah, son, you keep your own tooth. It's cute that you offered it to me, but, you know... I think it's nice to be good to our boy. Look at him. Get that haircut. Well, what a kid. And our wife is pregnant again. Is it time for a second son? What are they doing? Did you try to raid them? Oh, wow. That's... that's not great. Aid has decided to try to raid way above his station and triggered hostility from Ivar's armies. That is not great. Okay. So... We're gonna raise local raiders, and we're gonna take them back here into Strathclyde. This plague. I got one more border to cross to reach us. Hopefully it uh, works itself out before we have to deal with it. 28 fatalities. We don't need that. We don't need that coming this way. How is the Pope doing? Truth be told, money from the Pope isn't that essential. I guess we would use it to build more buildings. Almost. We're getting there. Did we already finish this? Is this done already? It is. Okay, well... I don't want to fight you. But I'm gonna have to. Good. Easily enough one. Let's see how we're doing here. How do we get strong enough to deal with that? I think realistically we're going to have to hope that our king fights him again or someone else fights him who can take him down a notch. She's too old to be my wet nurse now, which is we knew was going to happen. Gormil? Is a fine name. This doesn't look great. Let's, uh, ransom you. We are going to need an alliance with somebody. But who? Who makes sense? Who is local enough to make sense here? Wessex? Potentially. Ooh. They are close enough that it kind of makes sense, but... Is that realistic? I mean, we are a duke now. I wouldn't expect one of his children to marry into our family, but one of our daughters might marry into his. I mean, Wessex is a famous warrior who fights against 
the Norse. Probably Wessex was responsible for saving East Anglia. But he is an Anglo-Saxon. Traditionally, we have not done well with them, but we do rule over Anglo-Saxons. And they've been decent for us on our council. How did your child get disfigured and your and your wife? I feel like there's a story in that. Will you marry your son to my daughter? Will you do that? I feel like, you know, where is it? My Anglo-Saxon Marshal and my Anglo-Saxon Spymaster are like, uh, what about the King of Wessex? He would probably make a very good ally. Yeah, I think it might be time to put aside our, uh, some of our ancient dis differences in order to retain Catholicism on the island. Fire and blood. This kid. We've taken enough already. I'm not really... I don't really feel the need to do that. There aren't that many places left to raid down here. We've still got lots of room. Alright. So we have allied ourselves with Petty King Alfred of Wessex. I mean, we're going to be expected to help him. If things go that way. But I think it's a good alliance for us. Let's check in on the king. Let's see what he's doing. It's just feeling real gross, though. Who are you at war with now? Somebody in the region. Somebody right over here. He can't be at war with... No, not you. Who are you at war with now? You're at war with Ivar again? Oh, you're trying to take... You're trying to take the... The... The territory of my father. Oh, I don't know if I like that. If King Constantine takes this territory and holds it himself, we lose our opportunity to get it. It does make them weaker, but I don't think you win that. And I don't feel the same way about defending you when you're doing this, because this doesn't feel right to me. It almost feels like betrayal. He must have something in mind. I don't know. Uh, maybe he thinks that the islands are enough for me? Maybe the fact that I've already elevated, elevated myself to Duke has got him uh, thinking about this in a different way. Can't disband with his troops there. This is going to require some real thinking. So, he is our king. We are loyal to him. He is our friend. But his judgment isn't always the best. Hmm. I mean, I think... I think we have to do this. Stop being a raiding army. He's still my king. If he thinks this is the best for the kingdom, I'm going to have to do it. So, we will offer to join his war. And then we will join up with his army here. It's a little disappointing, but I mean, we did make ourselves king of the Isles. I mean, Duke of the Isles. And this is a long-term goal. Maybe we can take it from whoever he grants it to, right? Assuming he doesn't keep it. Now that I'm a duke, I can hold what I have. I didn't even think about that. I can have you go back to court politics, right? Nope. <laughs> nope. Not at all. Two for duke, one for Gaelic, zero for stewardship. <laughs> what about assist ruler? Assist ruler is the compromise. The compromise is working, so we'll take the compromise. That increases our diplomacy very nicely. Spouse, investment inquiry. With High Chieftainess Gormla's diligent administration of my household's finances, there is more gold at the end of the season than expected. How should we put it best to use, husband? A magnificent dinner party. Invest in a local area. This is encouraged development. We're not really doing that right now, though. Increased defenses. Uh, let's save it. I think we need the money for other things. He's made me the master of the hunt. Maybe this new position is in way of an apology? Maybe? I wish... I wish that I knew for sure that when I when I tried to do this, you'd come with me. Because if you come with me, you're not going to do it. Why are you trying to siege instead of stopping sieges? 
What are you doing? This is the second time that he has allowed my territory to be seized without defending it. Our forces could defeat this guy. <laughs> Come on. That's like my capital. It's going to be so bad if he lets the siege go through. It feels like every time you go to war, the only thing you do is hurt me. <laughs> do you think I could take it? Is that what it is? Do you think... Do you think when you make bad decisions, I'll be more likely to forgive you? Is that what it is? Could you... Could you defend Sterling, please? Could you defend Sterling? I would absolutely love it if you'd defend Sterling. Not gonna defend Sterling? Are you just not that kind of guy? No, you're just gonna keep sieging. Just gonna siege and siege. Even though I'm out here literally just helping you out. You're just gonna siege and siege, right? Yeah. Of course you are. Well, I mean, can't make decisions for you, but, uh, not really feeling good about this. I am not feeling good about this at all. I mean, I hope he goes for the capital instead of coming down to Linlithgow. Linlithgow didn't do anything to you, buddy. You just sieged it. You just sieged it in the last battle. No, my court tutor. And my counselor. And, ugh. What are you doing to me, man? My friend, you let good men die. We could have easily stopped that siege with our combined forces and set back his army to the degree that he wouldn't be a threat for the rest of this war. But instead, I don't know. I feel like good men die, and for no good reason. Well, I guess it's you now. I need a wet nurse. Two prisoners here. It's unmarried Catholic woman. We're gonna recruit her. And this boy. And we'll send them home. They don't. We don't need them in our prison. It's a Catholic boy, right? Yeah. He can go home. Okay, and then we're gonna try to find you a spouse who might. Be able to be an antiquarian for us. I'm looking too far. I need to look locally, like I said I would. Alright, do you have any guests? Mm, maybe her. She's French. It's an interesting culture for us. She's a wise woman. She's shy. She'd be a great antiquarian. Will you marry anyone? Like, will you marry our champion here? You will, that's good. Now, the other position we need to fill is wet nurse. We definitely have someone who could marry a wet nurse. Let's see if we can look around at these courts for someone who could be a wet nurse. It's a guest. Nope. In the king's court. Too old. Oh, your brother Aid died during the war. Wow. I did not think that was what happened. Well. Okay. He's grieving. It's causing him to make mistakes. I think that's forgivable. Let's, uh... Let's do... Female. Unmarried. Spy master. We can't rob his spy master. Let's see here. Player heir and daughter and granddaughter. So he doesn't have anybody really. It's his spy master. But like every woman is a spy master. The spy master. I guess the last place we would reasonably look is down here in Wessex, now that we have an alliance here, right? Too old. Just a child. Okay. The spy master. This courtier is 27 and lisps. Not really healthy enough, though. Anybody else? Like, do you have anybody? 
No, I'm just gonna- I think I'm gonna end up just having to take the poor one. Where's our relative down here? I guess we could check our relative in, uh... In Ireland. Uh, somebody has become High King of Ireland, and it's a child. Courtier? 23. He's not that healthy, though. I guess we'll marry her in just in case she's good enough. Oh, that's a uh, was difficult. Really, nobody for for wet nurse. I'm probably just gonna have to end up putting the. Um... Wait, wait! He captured my son. In that silly, silly siege that we could have won, he captured my son. Yeah, he won't do it while we're still at war. Of course, he won't. Now my son has to spend who knows how long in a Norse prison. I hope, I hope this doesn't get worse, because I don't know what would happen if my son gets executed or sacrificed. Back to our regular duties for now. Let's see, antiquarian. We have this woman, who's average. That's good enough. What else do we have? Wet nurse. No, oh, she's just poor. I mean, at least she's young. Right? She'll get better if she has kids of her own, I guess. Ivar has basically captured all of my children, including the daughter that's supposed to marry into Wessex. My heir. Literally everyone. How horrid. I really, really, really hope that they, uh, are willing to give those kids back after this war is over, because I don't know how I'll feel if my king caused my children to all be captured and then something bad happens to them. I mean, the Nords are notorious for treating slave women badly. How can we expect the barbarians to treat her with decency? Any of our children. You're not helping with the conversion, are you? Okay. Um, let's grab household guard, even though I don't have that many good knights. So we're just going to have to go down the list and forbid everyone below seven. I guess I could forbid this. No, I'm fine with how this is turning out. We'll keep everyone below seven. Seven or below, I should say. You're, you're not going to attack them, even though they're literally right there. Plus, where's your other ally, my man? You're finding a way to lose this war. Can you, like, do this? <laughs> Can you, like, do this? No, you won't. Hmm. All right. You're the king. I'm not the king, so... If you think more sieges in the south is more important than stopping them from sieging back territory we already took when we could easily defeat them, that's, uh, that's on you. I guess we help them by doing this siege, just to make- might make it a little faster. <sighs> Our cultural shift in Strathurn is almost finished. That's good. You're just gonna let them unsiege everything you've sieged? Just, like, make this war last a hundred years? Is that what we're doing now? Is that how we're doing this? Scandalous priest? Yeah, I condemn him for his transaction tra transgressions. I mean, which one of these do I want to do most? Zealous? Tons of stress. Impatient. So, I... I don't like any of this. I don't like the fact he did this, is the reality. He's gonna lose 30 opinion of me. Well, at least it stays positive. It's his own problem for the things he's doing. Nobody's making him act the way he's acting. After these sieges, you want to actually, you know, attack this guy finally? I'd love if we could win this war. You know, because... That'd be nice, right? Winning the war? I'm gonna stay on his siege here. Oh, he's finally going in to do the attack. I'm gonna finish this siege because I'm already dedicated to it. Okay, we have fully swayed our spy master. We're gonna try to convince the priest to be a better man, you know? We talked to him already. He understands our, our opinions about these things. He needs to understand them better. Catch them, please. Thank you. 
Okay. Now we have to clear them out of our capital. Hopefully he hurts them enough that if they attack us again, we'll stop it. Okay, so you've finished that, which means we're done. Still worried about this. This old man is going to die. It's going to go to his son. His son's going to have a better time getting allies. We're always in wars trying to right things for our king. Until things get much worse, we're just going to have to trust that he knows what he's doing, I guess. I guess. Let's do the desieging here. That should help at least a little. I don't want Italy. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not Italian. Okay, so this isn't quite back up, so we will stick our man on it. Is he already on it? No, he's still doing the north. That's fine. It'll get up before we get it done then. I wish I could discern what the king's plan is here. Is he finally going to go up and attack? Is he going to continue to siege? I don't know. Your plan to chase him down or something? Wait, who's this kid? Uh, something is happening. Something new. Something unexpected. Did Ivar die? Familiar reflection. I remember the day when my daughter Judith was born to my soul mate Gormla, my sensible daughter. Memories like these bring me comfort. No matter what happens, I know my family is there for me and that my house, McGebrain, stands strong. Be loyal, I whisper under my breath. I would like to give her a gift. I think that's okay. We'll still have plenty enough money to get her siblings back. So let's just take a quick look at what this kid holds. It's definitely territory that Ivar held before, that's for sure. Um, let's see. Oh, he died. He died. That's what happened. He died. So what is it that we're actually at war for? The whole thing. He's at war for the whole thing. That's fine. He's the king. Yeah, because that kid is no longer in the war. This war has changed. <sighs> Peasant rabble. He's not even an ally anymore. The territory isn't going to be taken over. And places that we had taken are now... fallen out of the control of the old man who died. Which means we have a lot less places sieged than we used to. That's too bad. Mm, they're probably just going to have to accept that. So we've desieged here. Let's go up and desiege his capital, which he's just sort of left. Oh, so Ivar died in the war, probably. And this has caused... All kinds of things to change about our circumstances. Down here we can see that uh, lots of territory we were previously fighting against is no longer in a war with us. This county here has broken out from Sudriar. Because it went to the brother. So the King's War is only going to get him a portion of what he originally thought he was going to get. Truth be told, if he doesn't hold it himself, we may work to take it back. Are you guys going to go down and fight him down here? Is that what your plan is? Because that's an okay plan. Preventing him from winning that siege would really help. Please do. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was close, my friend. Very close. I suppose we can help him by going home to where we were born. Also, probably to where our children are being held. You know, I have to say, I feel a little bit better having a child 
taking care of my my uh, offspring rather than a full-grown Nord. All right. Well, we did say it would be a long-term goal. The king may hand these territories off to a fellow vassal, and we can do vassal wars for them. They might be easier for us to gain in that way, in fact, and having the borders restored would be a really good thing anyway. I did make myself a duke, after all, so I am on the same rank as my father, which is good. It was our hope. Still first in line to inherit here. I don't know if we'll lose this or win this. We're going to win this. Ah, oh, good. So we've won. When this siege goes through, the war will be over. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Let's just hope this happens fast. I think he's joined up with us. No, the, he joined the other one, didn't he? That's fine, we've got this. Even if the daughters get back together, they'll come up and help. My daughter is eight. She has no guardian because she's in prison. My son is missing his guardianship as well because he's in prison. Maybe since it's a different guy, he will give our children back to us if we offer to... Nope. Nope. No chance. No, that's a peasant's lot to serve their lord. That's not happening. I'm gonna drop... half this army. Hopefully he doesn't come back to attack me in that time. Well, I mean... If they win that war for me by accident, I, uh, am perfectly happy. Let's enforce our demands. Who is this? He's a Gaelic Catholic. War for counts. Claim on Italy. Oh, that's my king's war. It's not my war. So be it. Let's pause. Let's, uh... Hmm. We could have him owe us a favor for releasing him, and then he can join the army. I think if he learns to fight for the right side, he might be an excellent servant one day. We now control Inner Sudriar. Nice. Hopefully he clicks this frickin' fast. He's already sending his troops to sea. There we go. So be it. Disband all. Alright, so... He's made a Mormor of Inverness, and he's made... And this son of Ivar is now the king's vassal. That validates me going to war with him, I think. But not today, next time. So we have been fighting our king's wars this entire episode, and that's okay, because we are still loyal. During this thing, we felt a couple of times that maybe our king mistreated us. Will he take the hook instead? He will not. Okay. It appears that it was Ragnar, not Ivar, who had our children. That's bad. The same, really. It's fine. It's worth it. We need our son back. Wait, wait. What just happened? He literally just died. Oh, when he died, everyone got released. Wow. Okay. Okay. It's nice to see the children of our court have been returned. You need a... Guardian. So let's find you one. I think the right person is probably Osric.
to do that. And that's it. That's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you join me the next time we are here with Chieftain, High Chieftain Finbar of the Northern Isles. Goodbye for now.